previously on the Youth Edition. Oh, that's a stripping there from Elfie Alexander. He's got nothing left in the juice tank, but he's going to keep coming forward. He slips it off. It's young Weber. Can he get inside? There's Weber working his way in on goal. Takes the strike. He's got it. His first game. His first goal. His magnificent hit. the Cheltenham Town Youth Edition Career Mode FIFA 17 and we're sitting in 8th position. It is the 1st of January and the transfer window is open. So uh, I'm not sure there'll probably be one or two games in this episode but uh, I'm hoping to make some transfers. I've taken uh, a look at the comments and uh, I think the number one target will be the striker uh, the Drogba region if we have enough money to go out and get him. I may need to sell off uh, a couple of players just to try and generate some funds but we'll see what happens, see if we get any sniffs in the transfer to a window and uh, we'll make the executive decision if those bids do come in. But uh, before then, we've got a lot of players I need to catch up on upgrading, so uh, let's get into that now, right now. Right, so the first player we will be upgrading today is, uh, in fact, Ivanov. And uh, the winning one comes from the ZYT. He said, keep the number, so we'll give him the number three. Uh, he just wants his shirt untucked. That's no problem at all. And give him some Nike Superfly boots. So not a lot of upgrades here for Ivanov, but uh, I'll do as you say and uh, get those Nike boots, the Superflies, uh, here onto Ivanov. Where are we? Nike Superflies, the EA Sports. Let's go for the nice green ones here uh, for Ivanov. Uh, so that is him, all set up and ready to go. Ivanov is done. Right, the next one is the Polish centre-back in Alekski. Uh, this one comes from Lavish Danny. Now, he said, uh, let's make him pink for cancer awareness. That's a great cause, so we'll, we'll go ahead with that. He did ask for number five, but we've already given that to Dujimont, so we'll leave him at number four. But let's see if we can pink out uh, Alekski. All right, is it possible to give him some pink ankle tape? No, it is not. All right. Uh, did he say he wants the undershirt with sleeves? He didn't say anything about untucking, so we'll leave that as is. Uh, nothing on that one. Undershirt. Oh, we've got to give him the turtleneck. Why not? Uh, we'll give him some gloves. Can we go pink gloves? Is there pink? There we go. Pink gloves. Uh, you're obviously not going to see his wrists uh, because he's got the sleeves on. Uh, the sock height will uh, remain high. And let's see if we can find some pink boots for Alexki. Uh, I'm not sure if they have any pink boots, so we'll just scroll through until we find something that resembles pink. And uh, hopefully there's some pink boots here for Alexki, just to match those lovely gloves that he is wearing. Uh, oh, no, they're not pink. It's, oh, no, they're not pink either. It's not really looking good for pink boots. We're looking hard here. Oh, there's some pink. So the Puma Eva Powers have got some pink. That's okay. We've got some Pumas there that we can possibly. Is there anything better that's more pink than those? I don't think we're going to have any luck. So I think we'll. Is there pink? Oh. Right. He can just wear the standard pink. Nah, he needs proper boots. He's a bloody footballer. We don't want the stupid EA ones. So let's go for some Pumas. All right, there we go. We'll take those ones. All right, so Alexi with his pink gloves and his pink boots. He's done and dusted. Thanks, lavish Danny. All right, the last man to get upgraded today is Vermeulen. And uh, this comes from Josephy02. He's already had one selection, but uh, he was the only one really that got involved with the Vermeulen upgrade. So make sure you're letting me know in the comments uh, which, you know, kit upgrades and you'll have the opportunity to be in the video. So Josephy number two gets his second selection. He said, can you make Vermeulen number two? So we've done that. Uh, he wants high socks. He's already got those. Uh, a normal fit kit. Yes, he does have those. Can we give him some long sleeves? And can it be tucked in? And yep, that's it. He didn't say anything about boots. And uh, he's got some pretty standard black boots. So I'm going to make an executive decision to... Uh, Give Vermeulen some decent boots. He's playing, been playing pretty well for us. Uh, we'll just give him some nice, some nice boots of some description. Um, what do we want to give him? Let's just, yeah, some nice red, some speed of light boots there for Vermeulen. 
So there is Vermeulen done, number two. Now we can get into the action. All right, here we go, some game action for you, and we're hosting Colchester United on the 1st of January. Now, there has been a patch update since uh, we last recorded, so uh, it'll be interesting to see if any of the gameplay style has changed. Legendary has been uh, difficult, but we've been able to do a job here, and we're sitting in 8th, Colchester in 10th. Uh, still a lot of games back-to-back -back here, so heavy rotations going through our limited squad. And we'll just have to see <laughs> the fittest guys we've basically got out on the park today. Still quite a few injuries. Obviously, Alfie Cooper is the main one. Uh, but we are one of the best defensive teams in the defense. league. So uh, hopefully we can continue that today. Lonkar is going to get a, a crack here between the sticks. And uh, Dujimont looks like he's wearing that captain's armband. But uh, let's get out here and see if we can start off the second half of the season with three points. Vermeulen whips one out wide. Here's Tekkers. Oh, Gets dropped. Back Yogo works inside and Loncar with the save. And Colchester with one of their first attacks forward inside 40 minutes. They get a good strike, but Loncar was there. And now it is a corner and the lads are fading already here. Luna looks absolutely spent. Here it is. Dujimont gets a good header on it. It's going to come out again. Come on, get in there and lay a challenge. Good work from Luna. Slips it off to Vermeulen. He goes forward and Bruins being the man. And he's done it again there. Can he chip this one over the top? He does. Looking for Fontana. Fontana's out of legs. He needs a biscuit at half time. Oh. Well, well, well. We had a couple of bites of the cherry to try and get rid of it, but it didn't really matter. And Colchester take the lead just before half time. I thought Vermeulen had done enough there. He blocked it. And well, some poor marking there from, uh, I believe it was Andoni. What was he trying to do there from behind? Uh, they slip it in. 1-0 Colchester. They've done nothing. And finally, they get forward and move in the back of the net. Now we're 1-0 down. And there's half-time at 1-0. It's a corner for Colchester. We're really struggling here at the moment. Here comes the ball in. Great save from Loncar. And Tekas just tries to clear it out. And... Really looking for someone to stand tall here in this Cheltenham side today, but no one's really put their hand yeah, up, and that is absolutely atrocious. Oh, Andoni with a great challenge, and here's Tekkers from range! Oh, Baldy! Rowan, down the line. Minami does well, skips around his defender. Here comes Minami. Oh, come on, son. Slips it inside. He's found Brankovic. Brankovic turns and shoots. It's fucking one all. Well, Brankovic strikes, and we're back in the game. Some great work from Minami out there on the wing. Had the balls to slip it inside, and Brankovic just turned and smoked it home. And we're back in the game at one all. Brankovic with a cracking brace with that left boot. Makes it one all. Tom Dari happy with the finish. And finally, Cheltenham hit the back of the board. And it is one all. Brankovic with his fourth goal in League Two this season. Makes it one all. Now they've got a chance. And the lads are completely out of legs. Here comes the ball in. And Doni did well. Ivanov to Tekkers. Passes it off quickly to Lemons. Back to Tekkers. And he's out of legs. But he's going to take the game on here. Oh, come on, Tekkers. Come on. Moving forward. With some danger to the opposition now. Oh, here. here's right. Passes it over. Vermeulen did well. Lemons clears it out. Delegianis can't pitch. get through. Yeah, it comes back again. Here they come inside. Oh, Lonkar, that's a cracking save. Dujimont off to Lemons. He's got Bruin way out wide for him, but he's picked up an injury. He's going to chip it over the top here. Delegianis, can he control it? He can, but he gets bumped off the ball. No strength here from Cheltenham. And it's getting very, very late in this game. Probably the only man left with some legs on the pitch. Feeds it off to Bruin. Slips it inside to Lemons. Here's Lemons now. Trying to take the game on. He's got Tekkers working for him out wide. Tekkers has got nothing left in the tank though. But it's Tekkers. He's going to have a ping here. Oh, what a save from Walker. And we've got a corner. Come on, Cheltenham. Vital corner at this late stage of the game. Delegian is to whip this one in. And he creates something. Here it is in the box. Oh, it's going to come back out to Delegianis. Passes it off. He's found Andoni. Andoni turns on it. Shoots. Oh, blocked. And cleared away. Tekkers, huge header. And there it is, full time. We come back to hold on for a one-all draw. But 
The lads are tiring. We need reinforcements. So seven shots to eight. Pretty even possession. Uh, having a look, and it was Minami with an 8.0 was the man of the match today. All right, we've just lost Alexander Bruin for three weeks. There goes another right midfielder. All right, we've got a transfer offer here for Charles Robinson. He is our third string keeper. Hasn't played a game for us, and Newport County have come in with this evaluation of 150. Uh, I am going to bump that up to 190 and see if they take the bait. All right, we've got the final U Scout report here from Scotland. And... Uh, Oh, you and McDonald, 69 to 93. Could be good, but uh, with that low overall and uh, our money situation, I'm actually not going to sign him up. So that will finish our time here in Scotland. All right, Germany brings us back. Well, it's once again, we've got Jonas Weber and uh, 42 to 56 overall, 69 to 93 potential. I can't risk these players that I can't bring straight into the first team. Uh, with our money situation at the moment, so we're going to let both of these right. And here we go. Is there anyone in here worth bringing in? No, there isn't. Once again, no players coming into the Youth Academy. Transfer offer for Jordan Lim. 50 grand. They offered 45. I'm going to accept it and get him out of the club. All right, we've got a purchase offer here for Andoni. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and reject that offer. So Newport County are happy to pay 190 grand for Charles Robinson. He will be our uh, first uh, Youth Academy sale and uh, a little bit of money into the club. And uh, Jordan Lim has also left the club for 25 grand into our transfer budget. All right, it's time to send out our youth scouts. We don't have enough money to upgrade them, so they're still gonna be one star, one star. But uh, we've got the, uh, the random number generator, so uh, where are we sending uh, our first scout? Let's hit the generate button, and it is number 30. And I'll just check our little list here. And we've already used number 30. Okay, let's generate again. Number 16. Uh, and that comes from the Enderman. And he said, can you go to Nigeria for a goalkeeper? All right, so we're going to set off uh, to the African country of Nigeria looking for a goalkeeper. All right, the next number is number 61. Okay, number 61. Who is that from? That is from Matthias. Uh, Frustrup, he said Denmark for any player. All right, let's head off to Denmark for any player. No problem, three months. All right, and last but not least, we'll hit generate and it's number 20. Have we used that one? No, we have not. And that comes from uh, Cancor Spolder. He said, can you go to Russia for a defensively minded player? All right, off to Russia we go for a defensively minded player. Done. All right, so they have decided to accept a 700 grand offer here for Jean-Daniel Timite, uh, 64 overall. He is the drug Regen, so let's see if we can get him in here on a five-year contract. Uh, I'll just offer him an important first-team player, and hopefully he takes the biscuits. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Stamford Bridge, Chelsea in the English League the Cup. The now, uh... We've beaten some big teams so far, but this is the semi-finals now, and uh, on the opposite side, we've got Nottingham Forest, okay, and Leicester City. So Chelsea, definitely the toughest team left in this competition, and uh, if we can get through them, it's uh, obviously a two-leg semi-final. If we can, oh, mate, if we can score a goal here and then hold on at home, we will be through to the League Cup final, which would just be absolutely incredible. But injuries have taken their toll on this Cheltenham side. Uh, Tamite hasn't yet to sign his contract with us, so uh, Fontana's going to start up front here today. Quest is back from injury, but he does have a band-aid. We're going to start him on the bench. If we need a little bit of extra uh, power out on the right-hand side, Alexander back into the side today, and uh, Price will be our starting goalkeeper. But here is the Chelsea starting lineup, and uh, you know what 50-50 side that they've put out there. You know, a strong back line there with David Luiz and Zuma, Begovic between the sticks. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look like they've put like Costa in that out. So uh, be interested to see what happens here against Chelsea. Hopefully we've got the balls to try and score a goal here at Stamford Bridge. Oh God, Chelsea. I mean, the teams we've knocked off to this get here so far has been incredible, but this is gonna be one hell of a task. Here's our starting lineup. Price between the sticks. We've got uh, Ivanov, Aleski, Dujimont, Vermeule, and Luna, and Doni in the midfield. Tekas, Kosi, Alexander, and Fontana up front. 
And uh, let's just see. He has been transfer listed. Get through. We have transfer listed Lunkar and Price hoping to get a sniff on one of those goalkeepers as well. But uh, we'll only sell one of them, of course. We do need to make some cash up to uh, participate in it. Uh, Drunk a regen trade, transfer, whatever you want to call it, but done. Doesn't matter now, this is the semi final. First leg of the League Cup. Let's see what we can do against Chelsea. Oh, <laughs> took three fucking minutes. And Chelsea take first blood. Well, they're making boys look like absolute babies in a schoolyard. And three minutes it's taken them to break us down and smack it past Pricey. 1-0 Chelsea, what are we in for here ladies and gentlemen, Vermeulen missing the challenge, exposed and poor man marking from all of our defensive players, leaving Price completely exposed, a quick finish there from the Chelsea man and it's 1-0. Oh fuck man, what the hell was that, are you fucking kidding me lads? Nine minutes gone and you're 2-0 down after a piss poor fucking defensive clearance. Ivanov, you've just handed it to him on a silver plate and Price, what the fuck was that, mate? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, mate, it's all fucking dead already. Close you did well. There's Luna. The nose. Slipping through the midfield. It's Luna, works his way inside, can he beat the keeper? Oh! Oh yes lad! Fucking get in there! The nose! He knows! Yes lad! What a fucking run from Simone Luna! Just absolutely turned David Luiz inside out! What a breakaway run from the young lad! And he's beaten Begovic there, off the arm, into the goal, we're back into it! It's 2-1, Cheltenham Town strikes! Yes lad! Fucking come on! Get in there! Luna! What a run! They have the lead at the moment, but that by no means is a certainty that they're going to go on and win it. Oh, Price! Fucking wake up, son, or you're on the first bus out of here! That's three fucking howlers from you, you fucking ignorant fuck! Come on, man! Jesus Christ! I know it was poor defending, but bloody hell! What the hell are you doing with your life, Price? Oh, that is woeful goalkeeping. And Doni slips one through. Here's Cozy. Passes it off. He's found Fontana. Slips it off. Alexander! Oh, how has he done it? How has he fucking done it? It's 3 2. It's an absolute goal fest here at Stanford Bridge. Cozy into Fontana. Some sort of crazy ass work there from Alexander. Absolutely nutmegs the defender. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, mate, it's 3 2. 3 2. 3 2. And Alexander puts us on the board again. 3-2! Get in! Yes, Elfie! Great job! And there's half time at 3-2! Five goals in the first half. Price is having a howler. But we have come back strong. Oh, clear it out. Oh my god. Alexander. Oh, that was absolute heart and mouth stuff. It's a good ball. Alexander's gonna get a bit of a run here. Henry works his way inside, passes it in deep. Fontana sees the run. It's Tekkers. Come on, Tekkers. Time to shine, mate. Feeds it inside of Fontana. Can't get the shot off. It's another corner for Chelsea. We just need to hold on. I'm happy with a one goal deficit going into the second leg. Keep it out. Keep it out. And there it is. Full time at 3 2. We fought our way back into the game. And a very, very strong effort there from Cheltenham against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. We've got two away goals to deal with. Uh, hopefully we can do something. Pricey had an absolute howl of it. Came back hard in the second half. And what will happen in the second leg? So eight shots to only three. We only had 38% possession. And having a look at our team, well, Tekkers with a 7.1. Our back line was instrumental. And Doni, Alexander with a 7.8. Vermeulen, look at the bench. Fontana, 8.2. Luna, 8.3. Kosi, 8.1. Set it up. 
and uh, it's going to be an incredible second leg of this fixture. All right, we've got a transfer offer for Blagoy Ivanov from Plymouth Argyle. They're offering 850000 Now, uh, we can't really afford to let anyone of this caliber go as we try and make uh, a run here. Um, but that is big money. And this day and age, that kind of money being floated around for a team like Cheltenham Town, um, you'd expect them to maybe have a look at it. So, um... I'm going to ask for one and a half million, and if they're willing to pay that, that's almost triple his value, we're going to let Ivanov go. Right, so there's just going to be the two games today. Uh, once we get into transfer windows, they tend to uh, slot down a little bit. Um, but having a look at some of the players here that are left to be upgraded, uh, oh, it's, it's tough. We haven't... Well, let me have a quick look at my list. And uh, let's have a look at who needs an upgrade. Um... Oh, surely it has to be Luna. The Nose. The Nose needs an upgrade. Let's go and have a look at him. All right, so here he is, the Nose in Simon Luna. He is number 16 at the moment. Uh, if you'd like to make changes to his kit or his number, please do leave a comment down below. I will select one of those and we will upgrade him accordingly. Right, so that's where we're going to leave this episode as uh, we get through this transfer window. Hopefully, to meet Day does sign his contract uh, before the second leg of the Chelsea game. But... Uh, what a game that was, coming back and uh, a 3-2 uh, goal difference here. Uh, we will have the home leg, so uh, we will only have to score a couple of goals and stop them from scoring. And we may be going through to a League Cup final, which would just be absolutely insane. Uh, but we're sitting in 8th on 41 points, in with a sniff of a promotional spot. And uh, hopefully you're as excited for the second half of the season as I am to play it. But that's all. I'll leave it today. Thanks very much for tuning in. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. And we'll see you next time. I'm Spiron DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one. I want you guys to have a crack. And, and, and let me know which country you think we will get offered as our first job offer.